Despite its flaws and limitations, Google Drive has been accepted as a solution for many users. What a lot of people probably don't know is there are alternatives to Google Drive, which fit better for specific use cases. I'm Kelly from Canto, and in today's video, I'll give you our top five alternatives to Google Drive. Sync is a cloud storage software that allows users to share data without size limitations. What really stands out is the clean interface. You can switch from list view to icon view. You can also, of course, search for files. The detail view shows a nice preview image. From here, you can also share files via a link. An interesting feature is the vault. Files that are saved in the vault are not synced to other devices. Another useful feature is the version history. You can see all previously uploaded versions of an image. There are some notable limitations with the version control feature. When I upload another image with the same file name, it automatically overwrites the older version in the same folder. Something else to note about the interface is the lack of image previews. You need to actually click on the file to see the image because there is no preview. OneDrive integrates really well into the whole Microsoft 365 ecosystem. If you've used Microsoft products before, you will easily find your way around this clean interface. As usual with Microsoft, it's organized into folders and then individual files. If I click on this image here, I get a bigger preview. And on the right side, I have very basic information on the file, such as file type, image dimensions, and so on. Let's navigate to the other folder and I'm going to show you the version history feature. From this detailed view, I can click through the contents of this folder. As you can see, I just edited this image and added a little text. When I access the version history tab, I can see the various versions of the file that were added to this folder based on file name. If I want to access an older version, I can click and restore the original file. Of course, OneDrive's advantage is the integration with all the other Microsoft apps. When I click this Word document here, it opens another window where I can directly edit my document in Word Online. OneDrive is a good option if you're already working with many of the Microsoft Office tools and if you only need to share content internally in small amounts. Dropbox is a very popular cloud service available for all widely used operating systems and devices. The interface is clean, yet a little more complex. You have nice little preview images in the tile view. When I select an image, I get another preview here with some very basic information on the file itself. From here, I'm able to access all the actions I can do with my file, like renaming it, downloading, moving, copying, and so on. To see a bigger preview, I need to click on the preview button on the image itself. From here, I can click through all images in this folder. There is also a visual annotation feature where I can add information to an image for other users to view. To share images, I can select multiple files and use transfer to send them to users via email link. This is a useful feature, although it can feel a bit clunky. What's nice about Dropbox is that I can undelete files that I or any other user has deleted. Dropbox can also add watermarks to images. Though Dropbox has solidified its security, it still falls short in protecting user-sensitive data from attacks. As it is the most popular tool for storage, it's a frequent target for hackers. The 2012 hack is still number 33 in the list of the 36 biggest data breaches in IT history. KeyCloud puts an emphasis on their security features. When you register, you can choose your data region and decide where your files are being physically stored, either on servers hosted in the United States or in the European Union. KeyCloud offers a simple and straightforward interface. After uploading my files, I see nice previews of my images. When I click a file and go to the bigger preview, I can slide through my images. I can select multiple files at once and move them to a new folder to keep my images organized. PCloud is one of the easiest cloud storage systems to use on mobile devices. On the other hand, PCloud lacks editing capabilities, which can be a problem since editing features are crucial for storing large amounts of files in a cloud system. It also comes up short with scalability features. It requires many companies to upgrade after a short period of time. 
Canto is great for teams looking to store, manage, and share a large number of images, videos, and documents easily. Users can quickly scroll through their photos with list view or switch to thumbnail view to take a closer look. Click on an image to see it full size along with all its data. Being able to find your images quickly is important to optimize team workflows and Canto has advanced search features that make it easy to find the image that you have in mind. Search by using tags, keywords, or any other data, and even save your frequent searches. Team members can leave notes for each other using the comment feature, which makes collaborating and giving feedback really simple. With version history, you can keep track of the updates made to a specific file and make sure you always have the most up-to-date version. We use Canto every day, and I think you'll find it's hard to go back to anything else. If you want to learn more about digital asset management, Click the video here. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like this video or subscribe to our channel.